Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Pi, and I'm not talking about Apple Pi, but we can take that as an example. Let's pretend we draw a Pi from above, and let's pretend it's perfectly round and has got a center point. Now, if we draw a line from the center point to the circle itself, that line is what we call one radius, or short, R. Now, if we draw another line in the same way, but in another spot, we'll get another radius and it has got the same length as the previous. Therefore, we can call this R as well. Now, if we draw this line so the R has the exact length as one of the radius lines, we'll go, we will get what is called one radian. And if we measure the angle between the two lines, we will get around 57.3 degrees. This means that one radian is around 57.3 degrees. But what has this to do with pi? Well, if we split the circle into half circles, the length of the arc right here would be pi radians. Remember that I said that one radian was 57.3 degrees. Well, since we know that half a circle is 180 degrees, to find out how many radians would, there would fit in 180 degrees, we will just have to do this simple equation. Which equals pi, which equals 3.14. The equation would be pi times r. And to get the length of a whole circle, we would have to take our equation and multiply it by 2. And this is why the equation looks like this. 2 times pi times r.